Good afternoon everyone. Welcome po sa Powerhouse Weekend sa ating live audience here and also sa mga nanonood po sa ating FB live stream. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for our Powerhouse Weekend. Ayan. Thank you po. Um, again, kung kayo po ay hawak nyo pa yung phone niyo, you can share our live stream so that we can reach to more people para po, uh, lalo na sa mga young professionals, those who are working at the moment. While I was studying on our topic this afternoon, I searched on Google. I was trying to look for the reasons na ibinibigay ng Google kung bakit ba tayo nabubuhay. And perhaps you will see on your screen right now, yung mga binibigay na Google sa atin, yung mga instructions how to find our purpose. Right? But you know, why is it that many people still wonder in search for it? Kahit na maraming binibigay na mga kasagutan itong si Google, baka lobat ang mga tao, or baka naman hindi binabasa yung mga solusyon na binibigay ni Google. Or perhaps, Google doesn't really give the right answers to the problem. You know, for the Filipino working class, it's very, too, it's very easy to get lost in the mundane activities of life. The business of life can easily blur us from what is more important doon sa ginagawa natin. Because, you know, for us who are working, our strength could easily get sucked up by the business of everything. Right? Nakukuha na yung powers na meron tayo doon sa pagtatrabahong ginagawa natin. And somehow, we forget to live life and just go with the flow. You know, in trying to know our purpose, we also try to look at the human cycle. Right? In your screen right now, makikita nyo po itong human life cycle na meron tayong mga tao. Sabi nila, kailangang ma-fulfill natin or at least we could experience itong human cycle ng isang tao. We start with what? Yung tayo ipinanganak and then we go to school, we make friends and then we graduate, get a good job, perhaps a very decent job and then after that, you fall in love, you get married and then what? You make your own family have a baby. For those who are not successful enough, yung iba nagsaseparate yung mag-asawa in the context of the Philippines since wala naman tayong divorce, separation, or what do we call that? Ano yun? Annulment. Sa iba naman, may mga taong who would rather emigrate or tumira sa ibang bansa. But after all is said and done, kapag tapos na yung lahat ng ito, we retire. And after retiring, hopefully, if you have the means, you write your will. You make your own will, and then you die. For some people, when we follow the life cycle, ang sabi nila, if we follow the life cycle less, say for example, you were not able to get a decent job, say you were not able to graduate from college, or you were not able to get married, some people would say you have lived life less. For some people naman, they would say that if you were able to get a very decent job, nakapag-asawa ka, kumita ka ng limpak-limpak na salapi, you got married, you got good children, and then you were able to write your own will, some people would say that you were able to live more. That's what other people would say. But does the human life cycle really reflect our purpose in life. You know, to know our purpose, napaka-importante that we understand the meaning of our existence. It all boils down to how we answer the question of why. If you remember back in your college days, pinapagsunat kayo ng thesis, tama? You have your thesis proposal defense, and could you remember the moment that you what? Okay, humarap kayo sa panel. And you are very scared because you are actually very afraid that the panelists would scare the hell out of you kapag tinanong ka na ng iyong mga panelists. And of course, they would ask for the objective, the purpose of your paper. Right. That's actually one of the most important part of a thesis proposal because if you do not know what you are writing and why you're writing it, then forget it. However, our lives are not thesis proposals. Nanong tayo'y kinreate ng mga magulang natin, 
hindi naman po sila nag-usap at sasabihin, okay, ito ang gagawin natin. We will create this person and this will be the objective of our baby when he or she will be born. Objective number one, objective number two, objective number three. Walang ganon. They did not ingrain our, in our tiny little brains the purposes for which we will be existing on earth. Tayo yung maghahanap kung bakit tayo nandito. It didn't happen that way. That's why even in the twilight years of the life of many people, when all is said and done, nakita natin, we were able to experience and follow the entire human cycle. Still, some people, particularly those na nandun na sa punto ng pagiging empty nesters nila bilang parents, some would think still that everything is vanity. Meaningless, meaningless. You know, humanity has tried to answer the question of why in many different ways since the beginning. Even the great minds in history have tried to help us answer the question of why. One of the philosophical giants of the days during that time was Socrates. Ito pong si Socrates, he lived at a time when people were actually concentrating on the sun being the center of the solar system. However, kay Socrates po, what he did was to get back to what is really important in life. He went back to asking the question, what am I here for? Who am I? That's the reason why ang sabi niya, an unexamined life is not worth living. This is a very famous mantra of Socrates. And he uttered this actually at a trial. Dahil siya po ay pinagbibintangan that he was actually polluting the minds of the youth because he was encouraging them to ask questions about life. That's why on his trial, he said, an unexamined life is not worth living. If we are not going to reflect, perhaps ponder upon who we are, then life is not worth living. And then we also have Rene Descartes. Perhaps kilala niyo po siya sa inyong mathematics classes before. I'm not really good at mathematics. And this is what he said, I think, therefore, I am. Itong kantang ito, perhaps alam niyo na ito'y awitin ni Billie Eilish. Right? Mas alam niyo na kanta ito ni Billie Eilish. But actually, she borrowed it from Rene Descartes who actually popularized this, I think, therefore, I am. For Rene Descartes, he said, we are a thinking being. And the fact that we are thinking, that makes the entirety that we are conscious of our existence. That means we are alive. But then again, let me borrow from the words of Rene Descartes. And let me say, and this is not from Rene Descartes anymore, okay? I will just borrowed from what he said. And what I'm trying to point out is that when we start thinking, when we start contemplating, we start becoming. We start living. We start finding our purpose. But if we stop thinking, then we stop becoming. We lose sight of life itself. I think Therefore, I am. When we talk about the I think, it's our contemplation. It's our examination of life. Therefore, I am means there's already a recognition of our purpose. Borrowing from Rene Descartes' idea, we say that we need to contemplate the I think so that we will know the I am, which is our purpose. I think, therefore, I am. But again, para sa mga nagtatrabaho pong katulad natin, mga working professionals, mga young professionals, we don't really have the luxury of time to contemplate anymore because we are busy, right? We are tired, kaya maraming salamat for joining us this afternoon. Diba? Nakakapagod na yung isipin ko pa kung anong gagawin ko sa buhay ko? Kung anong purpose ko? We are tired, we just go with the flow, so for the most part, we get lost in the same. Everything becomes Blurry. Everything again becomes meaningless. You know, if you're already working for 10 years, 20 years, sometimes nagahanap ka na ng bago. 
Right? Minsan, one year pa nga lang, pagod ka na sa trabaho mo eh. Sino rito yung isang taong pa lang nagtatrabaho mo, naisip mo na, parang gusto ko ng something different. Right? May naisip agad tayo na sana. Iba naman. Everything then becomes meaningless. Living our lives for no reason, just to get by. Ultimately, living our lives without a purpose. And so, allow me this afternoon to propose to you why knowing our lives and knowing the purpose of our lives is very important. In our topic, remember your why, living a purposeful life now and beyond. Nandiyan po sa screen natin. This is our topic, remember your why, living a purposeful life now and beyond. You know, we have all our countless whys in life, right? Bakit ganito yung trabaho natin? Bakit maliit yung sahod? Bakit mababa yung kita sa business? Bakit ka iniwan ng jowa mo? Bakit ganito ang buhay ng pamilya mo? Bakit parang basan natin ang daigdig? Our lives are full of whys. And the question of why seeks reasons for answers. And when we speak of reasons for answers, we talk about purpose. We talk about our purpose. Oxford languages define purpose as this. It's the reason for which something is done or created or for which something actually exists. So when we talk about purpose, we speak of meaning. We speak of significance. We speak of our goal. Is there more to life than this? And so allow me to give you three ideas why we have to remember our why. Number one, our why will yield to our self-discovery. Your why will yield to your self-discovery. You know, self-discovery does not happen overnight. Right? Hindi yan nangyayari ng pagkapanganak mo, I think, therefore, I am. Wala namang batang pinanganak na gano'n ka agad sinasabi. How we understand who we are and why we are here for is a lifelong process that is anchored on what we see as our purpose. Last Sunday po, I had my mentoring with the team leaders of Powerhouse. And ito pong si Ivan... Where's Ivan? And Ivan, allow me to use you as an example. Sabi ko sa kanila, what do you think is your purpose more than, uh, more than working? And he was very brave enough, okay, and very honest enough when he said, sabi niya, I'm still figuring my purpose at the moment. Right? And that's actually a very brave and honest answer because again, we are figuring things out perhaps our purpose in every phase of our lives. Right? Ano ang purpose mo ngayon sa buhay habang ikaw ay nagtatrabaho? Perhaps this is a phase in life where you have to find out your purpose. Now, the reason sometimes why it's hard also to know who we are and why we are here for because deliberately or not, sometimes we detach ourselves from our purpose. Tayo mismo yung lumalayo sa dahilan kung bakit tayo nandito. We stop discovering anymore who we are because we're tired. Because perhaps we are problematic because of many things. Okay? And you know, there's more to life than just being able to fulfill and experience the human life cycle. We don't have to just go with the flow, okay, in order to live by. Self-discovery involves the deciphering of our potential. Last Powerhouse Weekend, we discussed about potential. And when we speak of potential, it came from the Latin word potential, which means what? Power. Your potential is your power. It is the power that you can use to change not only your life, but also to change the lives of the people around you. Never go through life without knowing your potential. Never go through life unaware of the potential that you are gifted with. Because again, that is your power. Our purpose 
season is our potential. You know, when we discover our potential, it could actually do great wonders. It could prosper us, right? Pwede tayong maging prosperous because we are using the gift that God has gifted us. Ginagamit natin ito, hindi natin ito pwedeng itago na lang. And we have to understand that we will never be able to maximize our potential if we do not know our purpose. Magkasangga silang dalawa eh. You use your potential for your purpose. Yan ang pinaka-importanting maintindihan natin dito. And also, self-discovery includes the uncovering of our passion. Passion helps give meaning to life. Right? It gives meaning to life. Passion keeps you awake at night. Right? Sabi ko, sometimes medyo hindi ako nakakatulog ng matagal ngayon kasi ang dami kong naiisip sa powerhouse. Siguro because it's been a long time. And I was like, is, it, is this good na hindi ako masyadong makatulog? Pero kailangan ko rin ng tulog. <laughs> diba? But when we talk about passion, it's what keeps you awake at night and wakes you up early in the morning. This is what you are passionate about. It's like you feel paralyzed kapag hindi mo ito ginagawa. It gives you a rush of blood kapag pinag-uusapan to. Now, what's your passion? Right? You know, we have to use our whys to discover ourselves and more, our passion, our potential. It's never late for us to discover such. We have to discover who we are and what we can be. And remember this. Remember that we are created in God's image. And that imago Dei means that we are capable of doing great things because God has given us that image of Him that will make us capable of doing wonders in our lives. Self-discovery, and that's very important. Our why will yield to our self-discovery. Second one, our why will determine our life's disposition. You know, we act based on what we believe, right? Kung paano tayo kikilos, ito ay nakabase sa mga bagay na pinaniniwalaan natin. At yung pinaniniwalaan natin, nakaangkla ito doon sa ating Purpose. Our wise will dictate what is significant in our lives. And our purpose will also dictate on what we have to forgo in our lives. Kung ano yung mga dapat na nating iwanan sa buhay natin. Nakakita na ba kayo ng taing ta? Sorry po, ng taong laging nakasimangot. Right? Nung pagising sa umaga... May question mark na kaagad sa mukha na, ano pa yung kakainin ko ngayon? Right? You know, sometimes we have to remind ourselves that we live for a purpose because if we know our purpose, then definitely hindi tayo sisimangot pagising natin sa umaga. Tama? Right? Hindi pwedeng ganun eh. Kasi when you know why you are here for, why you are working, why and what is the reason why you are living, then definitely when you wake up in the morning, Sabi mo, let's do it. Right? Because you are made for that purpose. You live for that purpose. You wake up in the morning because you want to accomplish that purpose. We have to be reminded of our purpose because our purpose will dictate our perspective. Our purpose will dictate our mindset. Our purpose will dictate our attitude. And definitely our purpose will dictate our character. And character is very important. Right? You do not want to work with somebody who's actually very conceited. Kahit gano pa kagaling ang isang tao, if you don't see the humility of the person, you do not want to work with that person. Character is everything at work. Tama po ba? Character is everything at work. You know, hopefully when we work, we don't just work to make ends meet. We don't just work just to pay our bills. But we figure out why we work and why we have the job that we have right now and why we have the business that we have right now. 
Because there is always that reason why you are having that job that you have right now and why you have that business that you have right now. And when you know your purpose, you go to work. You do your business. And that will keep you humble. Because you know that your purpose is actually a selfless one. It's not something to brag what you can do and brag what you are good at. It's a purpose that goes beyond what we see at the moment. Our purpose will dictate our truth. The question though is, what is your truth? What is your truth? The truth is, we are pilgrims in this world. We are sojourners. Kung baga, there will come a time, mauna-una lang, darating ang panahon, na mawawala rin tayong lahat dito po. You know, this pandemic has brought a lot of troubles to our finances, to our mental state, to our relationships with people. But what is your truth? Because when you hold on to that truth, no pandemic can stop you from living. Walang makakapigil na babuhay tayo. Pandemya lang to. You know, our truth will lead us to our destiny. Remember that your purpose is your truth. Dapat maintindihan natin na ito yung ating katotohanan that no matter what the odds are in the good and the bad, you hold on to the truth that you have. 2008, I left the Philippines to study sa Korea po. But while I was there, I served three churches as English ministry pastor for foreigners po. Ang akin pong minimisteryohan doon ang sineserve while studying were foreigners in Korea. Tatlong different churches in the four years that I was there. And on the side, ako po ay nagpa-part-time din na magturo ng English. Kahit pa paano, may kikitain. But you know, hindi ko nakalimutan yung truth ko nung panahon na yon. Because the truth is, I was there to study. I remember po, before I left for Korea, I think that was a couple of days before, nagpunta kami ng SM Das Manila, Pastor Paul. And hindi ko po makakalimutan because sabi niya sa akin yun, ano pang kulang mong gamit? Sabi niya, sige, bilhin mo. Si Pastor Paul po nagbayad. Right, no? Napaka-generous. And this jacket that I have right now was the jacket I bought. Pera ni Pastor Paul to. <laughs> you know, hindi ko makakalimutan niyon. And the first day na ako po ay lumapag sa Korea, Wala akong jacket na suot doon kasi ito nilagay ko sa lagayan ko. And it, was, it was very cold. It was January 8, 2008, if my recollection serves me right. And then yung akin pong sponsor was there. My truth was, I was there to study. And so the first day, pinick up niya ako, buti na lang may hawak-hawak siyang jacket, pinigay niya sa akin. ko, since wala akong tulog, because I don't know, it was actually a leap of faith when I went there. I don't know what to expect. I just know that the truth that I have at that time was I have to finish these studies. So, umalis kami ng airport not knowing kung saan kami pupunta. May pinuntahan kaming lugar ng sponsor ko. Amakit kami sa building. Nakita ko nasa Jim Jilbang pala kami. Jim Jilbang is sauna. Ako, wala. Tayong mga Pilipino, di ba? We would like to keep things private. Private things private, right? Tama? So, sabi ko, anong gagawin namin dito? So, yun. Naghubad ang mga tao. Sabi ko, Ireland, hubad. Okay, fine. Eh, sa, 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 ang sauna po sa may isol is kakaiba. Ang daming mga swimming pool dyan na iba-iba yung uh, temperature nila. 
So ikaw naman, sige, one hour ka doon, swimming dito, swimming dyan, makaka-relax ka rin naman kasi ang Jim Jilbang, ang sauna sa Korea, is a very good business, particularly during winter time. Okay? So pagkatapos po noon, umalis na kami, and I thought, sabi ko, direction na doon, sa bahay makapagpahinga. Hindi pa rin. Pumunta kami doon sa isang building, and everybody was looking, everybody was looking at us. Lahat nakatingin sa akin tsaka yung sponsor ko. Where am I right now? Akala ko mag-aaral ako dito. And so I realized na nandun pala ako sa company na pag-aari ng aking sponsor. Of course, my sponsor is a very private person. When he was here, I didn't really know a lot about him. But when I went there, that was the only time that I found out that he was an owner of his own software company. That's why when he excused himself to go to the washroom, may kumausap sa akin, umupo siya. Sabi niya sa akin, do you know who you are with? Sabi ko, yeah, he's my sponsor. Because that's true naman, di ba? Tama naman. Sabi ko, yeah. Sabi niya, yeah. But who, do you know who he is? Sabi niya, he's the owner of this company. That was the first time that I found out about it. Napaka-thankful ko dun sa taong yun. But on my first semester sa school, my life was totally amiss because I got hospitalized for three days, three nights. My family didn't know anything about it. I think I, I told you the story about that. And ang daming nangyari during my first semester pa lamang doon. But you know, I've, I realized na nung nangyari yung mga panahon yun, sabi ko, umuwi na lang kaya ako because I cannot really tell people in the Philippines what I am going through at that time. Sabi ko, ano bang reason kung bakit ako nandito? God has His purpose. And I held on to that truth that when I went there, mag-aaral ako. And then three years after, I was able to graduate. You know, no matter what the odds are, kahit na ma-hospital ka, magkasakit ka, lamigin ka sa snow, when you hold on to that truth, that will empower you to keep going in life. That will give you the extra fuel to make life worthwhile. What is your truth? Or perhaps... A better question would be this one. Who is your truth? You know, our purpose decides our destiny. That's the third point. Or if I may rephrase, our purpose will give us a very clear sense of direction. You know, we are given just an ample time to live here on earth. So we have to make sure that we live it accordingly to our purpose, accordingly to our purpose. Your purpose is your truth, and your truth will decide your destiny. Your purpose is your truth, and your truth will decide your destiny. Our purpose shapes our priorities. You want to get to know what is more important in life. Now check your priority at the moment. What is our priority in life right now? Is it to get promoted at work? Of course, to make our business flourish at least. To get rich, di ba? Ito marami tayong gustong mangyari sa buhay natin. And sometimes, ang nangyayari kapag ganitong mga bagay yung nangyayari sa atin, what happens? Even though we have all these priorities in life, we experience setbacks after setbacks, right? Highways and byways, hits and misses, and all of those. But when what happens, what do we do? You have your mind straight on a goal, and then you are met with a setback. What do you do? Now, we will be watching a very short video clip of the late Black Panther 
Chadwick Boseman to give us at least no, okay, an encouragement of what we could do in life because he already lived his purpose. Now let's watch him encourage us. Sabi ni Chadwick Boseman, you would rather find purpose than a job or a career because your very existence is wrapped up on the things that you need to fulfill. Press on with pride. Press on with purpose. You know, our concept of God's, of purpose as God's children is very much different. It's more than the fleeting sense of fulfillment that we get every time people applaud for the good things that we do. Our lives are meant to be a testament of God's providence, of His power, and of His purpose. Because our purpose serves a powerful God. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11, it says here, Whoever speaks as one who speaks of oracles of God, whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies, in order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Through Him belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. In Ephesians chapter 1, verses 11 and 12, and this is from the message, it says here, It's in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Part of the overall purpose, he is working out in everything and in everyone. Remember Rene Descartes kanina? Sabi niya, I think, therefore, I am. Remember this. Your I am is your purpose. And we say I am because he is. Know your truth. Know your purpose. Know your destiny. He is our purpose. He is our truth. He is our destiny. In John chapter 14, verse 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said that he is the way to our destination. 
Jesus said that He is our truth. And Jesus said that He is the life. That He is our purpose. And our purpose is to live and not to wander. To live with Him and to live in Him. Mark Twain, the author of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, said, that there are two most important days in one's life. The first one is the day that you were born. And the second one is the day that you know why. Young professionals, young business professionals, it is my hope that despite of our busyness in life, we remember our purpose and we remember the reason why we are here remember your why and you will be able to live a purposeful life now and beyond sa Dios ang papuri maraming